Somalia's former Prime Minister, Mohamed Abdullahi Farmer Joe, has won the presidential election. He defeated the current president, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, after two rounds of voting. Candidates had to reach a threshold of 220 MPs in Parliament to take the presidential office. Voting took place after months of delays and increased violence. Well, let's speak to TRT World's Fidelis Ember, who joins us from Istanbul. So, uh, Fidelis, tell us more about this man who now has the job of trying to restore peace and stability to Somalia. Um, Famajo was born in 1962. Uh, he is a professor and a Somali uh, diplomat. He was the country's uh, former prime minister and was controversially removed from office in 2011 following a UN-backed deal in Kampala, Uganda. The deal was brokered by the Ugandan president, Yoweri Museveni. So there was an agreement between the uh, former president and the parliament to remove him from office. He, uh, he actually re refused to step down, but after some uh, pressure from international bodies, he, was, uh, he, he resigned. He said, and while resigning, he said he was doing that in the interest of the Somali people. That actually resulted in protest. You know, so many people took to the streets and it took the security uh, uh, of the United Nations and the African Union to restore law and order in Somalia. So to some extent, he's a, a bit popular and uh, he's uh, someone that people see, uh, Somalis actually see as an alternative uh, because so many of them believed that the former president had the backing of the West and was being controlled by the West. So they see this as a breakaway from the norm. What about the whole voting process? I mean, that's being seen as quite an achievement, but how transparent was it? How difficult to organise? Well, uh, this election, uh, you know, was uh, postponed a couple of times because of uh, both logistic reasons, security reasons. Uh, Somalia is not the easiest of places to organise elections. And the fact that they don't have a functional database, they don't have uh, a functional system, made it even more difficult. So um, from the... Uh, election of uh, uh, delegates who actually took part in this election, we electing parliamentarians who voted for the president. It wasn't that easy, but they were able to, uh, first of all, screen the candidates. And even today's election was held at an aircraft hangar at the airport, you know, to really tell you how tense it is, because initially it was scheduled to hold at a, a police academy, but they had to postpone it because there were threats that they could come under attack. Uh, in 2011, it was held at the Police Academy. Before then, in 2007, and, uh, you know, the previous elections were held in Djibouti and also in Kenya. So it's not been easy for the Somalis, but uh, thumbs up to them because uh, uh, the insecurity in the country is so much that even moving around, I, I was recently in Somalia, I was in Mogadishu, and even walking around was so difficult. We had to move around in armored vehicles. We had, even with the armored vehicles, we still had to move with, around with uh, armed guards to really tell you the extent of uh, insecurity. So uh, the, the, there were allegations of corruption before the election and even during the election. In fact, there were even people who were saying that millions of dollars must have changed hands in trying to bribe uh, parliamentarians who voted. But uh, I, I don't think that would be much of a problem uh, as a, a, for the Somali people because they have looked forward to uh, a peaceful election. And with this election concluded now, I think they'll be looking forward to a better tomorrow. Fidelis, thank you for that. Fidelis Emba reporting on Somalia's new president.